Any of my viewers and subscribers, I'm going to do a compilation of this year's farming. I didn't get to record any of the light tillage or the fertilizer spreading or the harrowing because I just not able to. I was busy doing other stuff, but I'll show you what I did get for footage. There's a whole but there's a whole bunch of buck buckbrush growing along our field, and it was shrinking the size of our field. And the I, I just cleared it. And now we gotta tear it up. The big heavy Athens breaking disc and the 1066 up front. I need this much tractor. I don't have it dueled up, but I need this much tractor to pull that disc. It, it's a lot of disc to pull, so despite the fact that it's only 12 feet wide, so see how we do. I don't I can't pull that disc this that fast so I yeah go in second gear low range and pull about two miles an hour. Got her all tore up as best as I could anyways. This disc makes a hell of a mess. It rid ridges pretty good, but it does do its job. To, and that is tear up anything that you can throw at. Doesn't matter if it's sod or trees or roots or whatever, it, it eats it up. Okay, this is what I'm doing. It's, uh, it's breaking here with this disc. I gotta put her in second gear. I got the 4366 running. Let's go tear up some dirt. Okay, we have put it in fourth gear.
But my 560 did good, but I had to shut it down. Getting fuel in the well again. So I had to use the 706 instead. On my way to get seed, I'm using nothing other than a load star to get.
Here's what we ground. This is wheat. This actually came from a friend of ours. This is actually thrashed by a thrashing machine. It's hard red spring wheat. The ground feed right here. This is done by the hammer mill. It's the same grain exactly. It's just been ground by the hammer mill. It's a lot finer. It's not flour, but it's a lot finer. The feed is for these guys right here. They're ju these are juvenile chickens. See a problem with the combine? That's why we got to inspect them every year. This is rusted out, and that happens because, and you see it's real thin. I got to replace this piece here. However, we got to get combining today, so I got to do a farmer's fix on it. It should work. This will lose a lot of clean green right here, and it's got to be addressed. So do a farmer's fix on it for today. And I gotta replace this piece here. Okay, to fix the auger, I'm gonna take a piece of ducting. And I uh, cut it to. Uh, I'm going to rivet this piece of, uh, of, of ducting right to the bottom of the auger tube. Is it a permanent fix? No, but it'll guess by. Should be plenty of clearance between the auger flighting that shouldn't bother the pop rivets. <clears throat> I'm using very short rivets. These are one eighth by one quarter, I think. And when they pull in, they get smaller yet. Hey, here's my repair right here. Put this, put the ducting, the piece of ducting over the auger and pop it on and it should seal the grain in there. collected a sample of barley and I'm gonna test it for moisture so I got on the green waste scale I'm gonna weigh out 225 grams of it oh it get too much and I gotta take it out till it builds at 225 That's pretty close right there. So this this has a gate on it, the moisture tester. If I put the grain in here, it won't go anywhere. Next, I'm gonna calibrate the tester. So I gotta turn this to 53. See, it says Kel. I gotta line the 53 up. And I'll turn it to calibrate. And I've had a calibration a little bit, so I'll have to adjust it. I gotta put a thermometer in the green because the thermometer does, the, the temperature does affect the, the reading. So I go get this till it's the lowest I can, I can get it, which is about here. Then it's calibrated. Oop. 
kill the breed, so now we switch to operate. I push this button, and now I turn this knob until it get reaches until I get the needle right at the lowest point I could get it, which is right about there. Then I read this. There's a line across here, and it's 28 is what it says. So at 28, the temperature. Twenty two degrees Celsius. So twenty two degrees Celsius. So I'll set, check what twenty eight is at twenty two degrees Celsius. That's fourteen ninth, uh, just over. It's it, it's a wet by what what point one of a percent. So we could keep combining at that. So again, it's at 27, or just actually slightly under, so 27. At 22 is 14.7, so it's plenty, we're plenty good enough for feed barley. Feed barley is 14.8, and malt barley dry is 14. This is not a malt variety, so 14.7. Next, I'm going to weigh the grain. So I fill this up. Try and do it one one handed. Ah, here's the big guy. Got this, and they got roll this in. Make sure every space is full for an accurate measurement. This needs a little bit more right here. Okay, and for that I got a scale. Don't know how if I could do this one-handed, but I'll try. It's heavier than 50 pounds per bushel. See, this is, this is calibrated. It's a beam scale. And it balances at about 50, 52 pounds per bushel. See, I'm over. So this is 52 pound per bushel barley, which is good. The standard is 48. So. 52 is good. the swaths um, of the crop because uh, it was a little bit too green to straight combine so we swathed it to kill it and then we get about five days later we picked it up afterwards
my job is to haul away from the combine. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's some green in the back. In the box. The combine hauled the 180 bushels and the, the truck would haul more, but that's enough. I'll uh, go take a load the field drafts so I can't go that quick.
hope you all see you in the next video.